Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Hey, Tea Sippers. It's your girl, T. So I am here and I have my homeboy with me, Ronan. So we are here to just talk about some real stuff that is going on. So Ronan, say hey to the people. Hey, what's good, people? <laughs> I feel like this is old times again. This is my an original <laughs> podcast partner when we used to do blog talk radio together when we had when i had table talk with t he was my co-host okay so i hate when people be like oh you took table talk with t you got that from jada pinkett man we've been doing this before jada pinkett was ever thinking about red table talk okay <laughs> our show was popping in 2008 yeah so let him know ronan you better know your history mm-hmm. <laughs> folks let the talk don't know what the heck they're talking about anyways i am here it was a long night for me. Um, I feel a little bit better. I felt like crap yesterday. I was very upset. I know a lot of people were hitting me up, checking on me. So if you guys do not know, for those who <laughs> are not on my Instagram because it's private <laughs> and you're not on my Discord, what happened is if you guys remember um, when I went when I did my live stream the other day about the whole cupcake situation, you know how she dropped that fire diss track against like so many people in the industry. Well, when I started the video, I was singing um, Candy Rain by Soul For Real. Because I was I was playing that. I was playing music before I get ready to go live. So, you know, it can kind of pick up my spirits. Mm-hmm. And so I come on, I'm singing, you know, the song. Do you know, <laughs> I had literally close to 17 different music entities strike the video and want the full monetization. <laughs> Off of an almost two hour stream, they wanted the full monetization for a se- for me singing 17 seconds of a song. And it wasn't even me singing the song continuously because in there, I'm like, pause. I'm like, hey, tea sippers what's going on? Who's here? Can y'all hear me? So I'm not even singing the song continuously. I'm just singing bits and pieces. And they want the full money. So I am disputing that. And I'm also contacting my lawyer because I'm trying to understand how you think you can claim an entire video based off of a, based off of my voice. I didn't play Candy Rain. I sang a small fraction of the song. So I had posted what was going on. I was real upset. And um, I started getting bombarded with messages from people that they too are going through this, that Twitchers, um, it's affecting the whole gaming industry. They're going to be coming for reactors. So there's a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline that people don't understand and what's funny, what me and Ronan were discovering is we're, you know, kind of shifting through all this. Nobody in the mainstream is talking about it. Of course. And why do you think that is, Ronan? Because this is the new mainstream. Because mm. now you have, you, you see the uh, the whole stagnation with Hollywood and certain things. People are trying to be YouTubers now. The same individuals that they made fun of you and a number of others say like, yeah, you got YouTubers few years later guess who's trying to be that now right and they see us as competition we are the new media Mm -hmm. people can say whatever they want no i don't have a journalism degree never went to school for journalism i am just who i am and people enjoy that and they gravitate to me because of that but see the news the mainstream media they have to be robotic they can't deviate from the script so we are their competition. You know, what you see is what you get. If I like something, I like it. If I don't like it, you're going to know it. You know, but they have to be so PC. And so they're trying to find any way to take people down to affect how people eat. Because the thing that with social media and the internet, mm-hmm. it was meant to just be entertainment. Yeah. We were just supposed to be consumers, remember? Yeah. Supposed to come on. Yeah. Consume YouTube, consume Facebook. We were never meant to be people who could profit or make money off of our creativity. Mm -hmm. And the industry is bitter. They're jealous. So now you have new laws that are being snuck through Congress and they're trying to pass a new law that if you get multiple DC DMCA claims, they can take you to jail. Okay, that is scary. That is to tol- that is to tol- how do you say the word? <laughs> totalitarian. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, totalitarian. I, I call it the internet Gestapo because mm. with you out here, um, 
you can make you actually make a career you can have a a, a new studio music studio all in the palm of your hand or in the palm of your, i mean actually in your lap literally yeah. and yeah. the fact that you're influence a lot of people you have relatability which most of them don't. They just read off a script and then they cut it off and then get the hell away from me. And I think that that bothers, you know, a lot of these media people, unfortunately. And so this is the new law that's coming down the pipeline. Let me go ahead and read this to you guys here. This is what's what they're saying. Okay. So right now the hashtag stop DMCA is trending all over Twitter. And that is thanks to um, Penguins Zero and Charmex, they're two big gamers um, who kind of started that hashtag. If I was to ask you what the most corrupt and most cartoonishly evil industry is in America, there's only one right answer, that is the music industry. Even not talking about the blatant abuse artists face in the industry as well as shady business practices and the constant exploitation of their artists, they are the only industry I can think of that constantly attacks the public directly. They're less of a music industry and more of a private military group that also owns music. They're doing everything they can to wage war on the public. Over the last 20 years, they've come up with some of the most barbaric, archaic, and just brutally out of touch and dangerous laws to try and protect their copyrighted dog shit. And just this week, they've come up with a new wacky little humdinger where their political puppet, Tom Tillis, is trying to pass a law that he snuck into a bigger bill that would state a DMCA strike could carry jail time and a felony charge. And so what's being noted is this. The Digital Millennium Copyright Act, or the DMCA, has been hitting content creators on Twitch since last year. Now the latest government funding bill in the United States might affect them even more. So they're saying the government usually struggles to pass omnibus bills, and it is usually exploited by some senators who want to take the opportunity to tuck in controversial bills that can't pass on their own, but will pass if it's attached to a must-pass bill. This year, the CASE Act and the Trademark Modernization Act and a felony streaming proposal were all included in the omnibus spending bill, which has put some creators into a frenzy. According to protocol, the felony streaming proposal is the measure that is pushed by Republican Senator Tom Tillis, as reported by Torrent Freak. This is not the first time that the Republican senator wanted to make streaming, <laughs> wanted to make streaming piracy a felony. Wow. Okay. <laughs> if this bill passes, any copyrighted material that is used, unauthorized, and content creator streams will immediately be considered a felony offense. This means that content creators may face jail time. The bill can carry on in different social media platforms like Instagram, Instagram stories, TikTok videos, clips from Twitch. Currently, the unauthorized use of copyrighted materials is categorized as public performance and not considered as an illegal distribution. So this is scary. It is. It is. How do you feel about this? Um, it is. Uh... And I, I don't really look at the uh, senator per se, like personally, because you got to worry about who's backing the senator. Because, mm. uh, you know, as Claude Anderson said, it's like politicians, you either rent, buy, or basically, uh, uh, or lease them. Yeah. So they do what they're supposed to do. So they get the money from whoever they get and they push their agenda. So that's what you're seeing. But if anything, I would suggest those content creators you know, and plus what I'm me started a new channel on content, you know, it's like learn how learn the lay of the land. So, you know how to maneuver. This is not that much different than a lot of areas that we've been through or discussed. So yeah. you shouldn't. And first is a scare tactic to get you to stop speaking the way you speak because you influence people. But then, like when you actually maneuver and you know how to do, do what you're doing, they'll try to find some other way to basically try to narrow your uh, rank, your reach. Which you, I mean, I'm encouraging other content creators, whether I agree with them or disagree with them, to fight because, in many ways, they're eating away at free speech and expression, more or less. So that's yeah. my problem. And it's very scary because you have people who are now being struck. They're getting in trouble on Twitch. They're getting their channels removed because their Twitch is meant for streamers, right? Oh, yeah. So you put in a game, 
you don't have control of what's in that game. You don't have control of the composition of the music in the game. You know, any of that stuff. You're just playing a game. That's what it's meant for. But now the music industry has their panties in a bunch like they always do. And they feel like, well, these Twitchers are making thousands of dollars. They're making so much money. We want a piece of that. Yeah. But the thing is, if nobody was streaming the game, okay, they're giving you free advertisement. So they're trying to double dip. Think about how many people ran to go download Candy Rain after I sung it. Some people are like, I downloaded. I didn't know who the hell Soul For Real was. <laughs> it's like when we when we know when we say stuff like this as influencers, we are even giving, you know, the people that we're talking about a stamp. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Where people yeah. will go and go buy the game. Like, oh, he played it. The game looks cool. Let me go purchase it. Right. So that so it's funny how when we all started this whole internet thing, the whole, you know, gaming, twitching, YouTubing, it was cool when we were influencing people to go buy the latest lipstick, the latest makeup, the latest outfit. But now they want to find a way to also get paid off of those influencers and off of those views. Yeah. And like I've been saying from day one, C-19 is mm -hmm. showing a lot of people's true colors. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. A lot of people have gone broke or they're losing money and they're mm -hmm. trying to find ways to circumvent and eat. And the only people who've really been okay for the most part are people who run stuff online. Yes. Yeah. Keeping it real. You know, they they don't, they, they, they we're, we're not Hollywood actors. Like the internet didn't shut down. Thank God through, yeah. through all this. Right. So a lot of people have been able to take their businesses online and start Instagrams and start YouTube pages and, you know, Facebook and things like that. So, so many people have moved online because of, you know, being stuck in the house during C-19 mm -hmm. and now they're able to make an income for themselves. And it seems to be bothering the industry. It is. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you think about it, it's like Hollywood has been taking a major hit, like with AMC theaters, like, and I love going to the movies. They shut all that down. Yeah. So now you got YouTubers or even people that did like vines or something like that. Now people are starting to get into movies and certain other productions. And they want to cut at that because, you know, they used to have a multi-million dollar productions, which Marvel and stuff, that's awesome. But what happens when you have uh, the sheep having gold plated hooves now? Mm. We can't have that. <laughs> we can't. Talk about it. So now it's a problem. You know, yeah. And it really bothers them that, uh, a young black woman can sit in her bedroom. I don't have no professional set. All you see in my background is a bunch of damn shoes because yeah. the kids have taken over the den. So they that's where the kids are. That's where they do school. That's where they hang out. So I don't have my studio anymore. But I'm still able to command an audience of anywhere from 10 to 15,000 people when I go live. And they don't understand, like, why is that? She doesn't even have a professional set. She doesn't have a sound engineer. She doesn't have a lighting tech because people are here for us, for our personality, for what we bring to the table. And that's what they don't understand. And it, it has them feeling a certain type of way. This is why I will always take up for the little people. I get so tired of people using that. Oh, you're just jealous of celebrities. And oh, you're always going in. And celebrities have the right to be YouTubers too. They can do whatever the hell they want. But I'm always going to be the voice of the people. Because let's not forget, you same regular looking people could not make it in Hollywood. Yeah. Because they told you you were too plain, too ugly, too short, too fat. So why, when they have standards on who can make it in Hollywood, y'all don't complain and cry it, it, about that. But then now we're supposed to just allow them, people who have been in Hollywood for years, eating off of this machine, to come and take over a platform that was meant for regular people. Yeah. People came to YouTube because they couldn't make it in Hollywood. Hollywood would never let an opinionated, dark-skinned woman... You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't they wouldn't give a woman like me my own show because I keep it too damn real, period. Hey, tea sippers to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In or Anchor FM .com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the next video.